I can say for the last uh, 25 years. I, I'm an electronics graduate, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we were making uh, uh, application manuals, user manuals for Linux products for some uh, Mangalore-based companies earlier. <coughs> so Linux was uh, uh, in the hackers' hands, and uh, you know, in the experimenters' hands, basically. And uh, uh, you know, the, the companies that we were servicing earlier. Uh, also started some activities on Linux, and you know we started uh, giving some uh, offhand uh, free support. Sure. So, like you said, so just wanted to reconfirm. So, you started this institute in 2003. That's what you said. No, no we started in 99. Okay. We started the center in 99 in a very small way mm -hmm. because the audience uh, was also not very great. Because, uh, as I put it earlier. Uh, Linux was basically uh, in the experimental side. Nobody wanted to learn Linux as a from a job perspective because uh, they were not looking at that. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we got a break when uh, we were invited to uh, deliver a training in uh, Kuwait and an implementation. This, this I can say as is a sort of a breakthrough for uh, uh, for our company, and uh, we implemented uh, Linux in the Gulf back in. Uh, Red Hat Linux 6. Sure. So that was the first breakthrough, and after that, our target has been basically to train working professionals because that's how we started. And uh, till that, we can say that is our USP. You know, sure. We are an exclusive center training only working professionals, and we have trained professionals from 42 countries till date. Oh, that's quite a number. So, uh, how, you know, uh, why do you feel open source, or you know, why did you choose open source as a as your core core technology? Uh, initially, what I felt, uh, I was using open source Slackware Linux right from 1996 because of the freedom that it offered, and uh, you know, you, you you could virtually build up a course uh, without ally, al aligning with uh, any, any vendor or any proprietary trademark. Mm -hmm. And you had the freedom mm -hmm. uh, to do business with uh, open source sure. products, <coughs> adding value to the product, and uh, also the community required, uh, you know, such such a vendor who could offer services on open source. So not only the end user uh, actually uh, feels uh, the advantage with open source, but also business with open source, uh, you know, it is a lot of value addition as such. Thanks for clarifying. And uh, uh, you know, where do you see, see yourself or this organization or this institution five years from now? Uh, as it is, we are global in a, in a sense that uh, we have uh, addressed the audience from across the globe. We have had, as I put it earlier, participants from 42 countries and uh, our staff have gone out and uh, render services mm -hmm. for over 15 countries right now. and. Uh, you know, we have just started offering uh, courses online or as a virtual classroom system. And, uh, well, you know, I wouldn't actually like to make this sort of a network center where you have hundreds of franchises because what I feel basically is uh, the technical emphasis could be lost in, right. in, in, in such a uh, expansion. But I would like to take Linux Science Center, uh, Linux and the FOSS training uh, across India, especially, uh, you know, more now to the student community, which we have not addressed so far. Uh, we have been very successful with addressing the, the working professionals, mm -hmm. but I feel there is a huge market and a requirement uh, in the student community as well. Sure. So that's what we look at, uh, you know, in, in the coming years sure. to expand in uh, widening our offerings to the community mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, also offer support and other such services to the industry. Sure. And uh, would it be fair enough to say that that would be your vision statement as well, like what you said just now? Definitely, yes. See, we, we have, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, grown from a one-member organization to uh, 35 people now. Uh, of course, uh, you can say in between, we have survived very positively during the two slums, uh, you know, one in uh, 2001 and one in 2007-2008. And now I feel the growth can be very exponential. 
Sure. Now, if I may ask you, what did you uh, uh, do differently that your you know competitors didn't do that made you survive that storm? Rather, two two storms that you just mentioned. Exclusivity, because uh, when you say the name itself says Linux Learning Center, we are very focused on our activity, and uh, since uh, though, though we are actually associated with the two major vendors, that is Red Hat and Novel, mm. in offering the certification programs, uh, we also have developed a lot of courses. Uh, in the niche areas where, where the professionals require, uh, especially for a developer, for an embedded uh, programmer, for a database uh, administrator, uh, you know, these are niche areas which, which don't actually have any industry recognized certifications. We are addressing these areas uh, to a very large extent and, uh, uh, you know, these have been our unique selling points. Uh, yes, like any other business, we do have competition. Uh, but, uh, Sorry, that was my yes, question. Yes, uh, we do have competition, but uh, we have uh, kept ourselves uh, at least one foot ahead of the rest yeah. by through innovation. Okay. Because, uh, uh, for example, you take Android is one of our new launches, which right. is going to happen. Right. 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 And uh, now virtually everybody is talking about Android. And, right. you know, the technologies like OpenGL and, uh, right. you know, uh, such, such uh, to, to, you know, the... Uh, the new age programming mm. languages. Uh, we are one of the, uh, you can say, only training center offering, mm. training in the entire <coughs> country. Okay.